Welcome back. We are following this breaking news this morning. We have just learned that Orlando City Commissioner Regina Hill has been arrested. The word coming from the Florida Department of Law Enforcement. They will hold a news conference today, uh, 2 o'clock downtown Orlando, but they are telling us that they will be discussing her arrest following an elderly exploitation and fraud investigation. This is a story we have been covering for a couple of days now, so uh, we knew that some type of arrest would likely be coming. Well, and I think the interesting part about this is that she had been the subject of that state investigation for a while now while they were looking into those elderly exploitation charges against her. And she is accused of exploiting an elderly woman out of more than $100,000 and then allegedly using that money to furnish a fairly lavish lifestyle, right? right? And so she has been arrested this morning. The Orange County Sheriff's Office served her with an injunction last week seeking protection for the alleged victim. Um, at that time, she had not been charged with a crime, but yeah. we are learning this morning the breaking news that she has indeed been arrested right one of the things she's accused of using the money for was to get a facelift so uh, they're saying these are you know uh, serious charges we'll continue to follow this and the conversation continues because the show is not it only comes under my purview if they're if a municipal official elected officials indicted by a grand jury then I would suspend. That's typical. If there's not an indictment, then I, my power of suspension doesn't reach. It reaches county officials, countywide officials, short, I, even ne neglect of duty you can do for that. But for the municipal, if there's a grand jury, true bill return. Now, I don't know. I just know what I read. If that does happen, then that would be the trigger for us to act. But we would not do anything prior to that. Well, obviously, we're, I mean, look, just look around our demographics. It's very, very important for us. Um, we have so many seniors, uh, you know, four or five million seniors in this state. Um, it, demographically, it's really important. And we've done a lot, our Department of Elder Affairs, the Florida legislature, there's been a lot. But uh, this is a target-rich environment, this state, uh, for exploitation because you have a lot of seniors and you also have a lot of seniors that are retired and they have some income. So, so people that, that, that want to do harm uh, to, do gravitate. Now, we have good penalties, and we've, we've done a lot, uh, but that's just the reality uh, that we fight. Orlando Commissioner Regina Hill is accused of stealing $100,000 from elderly victim to fund spending spree on a new home, a facelift, and a trip to Miami in a years-long extortion plot. She allegedly spent the fortune getting a facelift she might want to go get her money back or get another ninety six thousand dollar um because if not baby girl regina hill they're coming to get you sis they're that, coming that. to get you she looked like <laughs> hey you remember um the fire chief on um in living, in living color, color? <laughs> Oh, oh. 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 FBI Lee is on it, and they re they received a tip from one of her staffers who had been fired. Real talk with the RN Demon and Pastor Robert now streaming on X and wherever you podcast. Let's go.